A major announcement truly just in minutes ago regarding Indianapolis Public Schools. Salesforce is giving IPS a grant of $650,000. It is designed to help professional development programs to help uh, new teachers transition to the classroom and help support individual schools. Alicia Johnson is the interim superintendent of IPS and kind enough to join us this money, uh, morning with the money story. <laughs> Thanks for being here today. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. How, how do you use this? Well, we're so excited and thankful to Salesforce for this investment in our district. Uh, we really have three areas of work we're really focused on, uh, supporting the development of our central service folks, so the folks who directly support schools, supporting our school leaders uh, in their own leadership development, and then supporting new teachers. We know that when teachers start in the classroom, that can be uh, sometimes a challenging first couple of years when you get started, and so really building out programming that will directly support our new teachers in the classroom. So the new teachers uh, clearly an issue. Keeping teachers, good teachers, has in modern education been a challenge as well. Yes. How does this money help you do that? You know, I think folks um, in, in work and in organizations really appreciate knowing that they're a part of a team and an organization that supports their development, that wants them to be the most effective in their work. And so we believe that if we demonstrate this investment in their development and their ongoing you know, ways in which they're growing to get better at their craft, um, that's a strategy to keep folks in the classroom and to keep them in the district with us. When you look at these uh, public-private partnerships, uh, J.P. Morgan's on board with some money now, yes. too. Second year for Salesforce with this? Second year for Salesforce. I, give a sense of, of what this does. Is there momentum now with IPS? Because I, it, it, it goes without saying that there's almost, and I don't know if that you'd term it a competition, but you've you know, you've got parents' eyes looking in different directions with, with uh, you've got private schools, uh, you've got uh, charter schools, you've, you've got township districts. Yeah. Does this position you a little better than maybe you were some not long ago? You know, I think so, and I hope so. Um, you know, parents have a lot of choices when it comes to choosing the educational path for their for their children, and so we believe that these investments from um, partners who see the work that we're doing and believe in the vision that we're setting out is demonstrating that IPS is a viable and great choice for families to make. Uh, do these grants come with any conditions? I mean, do they guarantee business for Salesforce or J.P. Morgan or anything like that, or is this look? We want to support education. Take this money, do good things with it. Right. I think in the case of, of both organizations. J.P. Morgan and Salesforce. It's about they uh, do business in this community. They employ lots of folks in the Indianapolis community. And so this is a way in which they can really directly invest in the young people in our community as well. Um, if you've been a Daybreak viewer for a while, you may know that I believe your first interview as you were named the interim superintendent was here on Daybreak. That's right. So let's get a check on where things stand right now. Sure. Uh, as the top administrator, where are we with a search for a permanent superintendent and is that a job that you'd still like to have? Sure. So that work is underway with our Board of School Commissioners. Uh, they are facilitating and leading that process. Uh, I've been in the job and doing the role since January and, and made clear publicly my intent that I'd love to keep the job. It's been an honor and a, and a pleasure to, to do this work over the last uh, several months. Um, and so the board has outlined their process. Interviews for finalists will happen on June 18th, and they hope to have a final decision by the end of the month. Important going into the next school year that that happens sooner than later? It is. I will tell you, sitting in the seat, that the <laughs> planning and preparation that you have to have completed to make sure you get off to a very strong, solid start of the next school year, that work is happening happening now and has been and so it's really important that you know you're able to get sort of all of those pieces in place uh, before August comes because it's going to come pretty quickly actually. Yeah, we'll be looking for the headline from IPS about uh, about leadership whether it's continuing with the current or going in a different direction. Thank you for being with us today to announce a, a, a very important grant from Salesforce. Again, $650,000 is the total. $650,000. I also would be remiss if I did not say thank you to the IPS Education mm -hmm. Foundation. They were a tremendous partner in helping us to secure this funding and this investment and so so excited and thankful to Salesforce but also to our Education Foundation the partners. Group that kind of links up the need to the folks who might actually have exactly. the resources for yes. it. Uh, Randy Ollis, that's what's happening in education in Indianapolis. How about the forecast over our fair city? Well, sounds good here, guys.